to the bag. Holly fired for second, head first dive, beats the relay. Two two pitches swung on the fist. He bridges deals, it's a ground ball right and short, could be two. Holly beats Hagen, relay to first, in time, they turn it. Harris flying in, he dives, highway robbery, Chase Harris. Kicks away from the catcher, Rishu all the way to the backstop, and here comes Albritton with the game's second run. All the way to the backstop again, and here comes Holly to score standing up. Drew's, a, Drew's part of the future pitching staff, and he came here as a shortstop and a power hitter, and we saw him throw across the diamond, and I, I sent him right straight to the bullpen. He's got a big arm, um, and he's got tilt which is really a big deal too. So, I mean, that was a big deal today. I, I think just attacking early. Um, curveball still needs work and my changeup, you know, off speed too. But uh, I think just getting ahead of the hitters and, and my two seam being able to move like it did today was effective and got a lot of ground ball outs. It sets. The runner moves, they pitch out, they've got a chance. Suarez throws on the money and they cut him down. Two of pitches lined up the middle. That's the base hit. Might get a run. But he is getting waved around third by Kotak. The throw is cut off from center field. That's up in the middle. The Bobo is going to have a lead. Agony turning it third. There will be no throws. He scores from second base. The guy I was proud of was Holly. He had three knocks and he had two doubles. And uh, I mean, you know, I just, he just has worked in doing what I asked him to do. And Haggerty too. Lobo's 10, Texas Tech 3, Lobo Baseball on ESPN Radio 1017 the team.